Output information for calculating volumetrics can be found under the Settings tab. There are also some sub-tabs under it. In the Output sub-tab, this information over here to the left side tells Petrel what properties to save in the Properties folder of the 3D grid we're using. Down here at the bottom, if this override existing properties is not checked, if you run volumetrics twice, these properties will be generated twice. If it is checked, the first ones will be overwritten. If you check in this column, it will make maps under the results pane in Petrel, volume height maps, and you can look at them later on. The maps can be smoothed, and you also give it a grid increment to work with. If you want to calculate volumes inside a boundary, you can come to this tab, click Property Polygons, go click on your polygons in your input pane, use the arrow to enter them, and they will now be used in the calculations. Back on the Output tab of here, you can generate what things will go into the report by clicking this Report Settings button. This window appears. Everything that is checked here will be put onto our output sheet. This number six here is times 10. So, so six means that 150 is actually 150 million. We can also check the format saying how we want volumes to be calculated by zone, by segment, by boundary. And Petra will make all the calculations and sum them up as needed to create the, the total volumes. We can click here. Clicking the Apply button saves the case, and in this case it's called Volumetrics Case, to the Cases pane. Out here, now we see Volumetrics Case. The case contains all the information all and the parameters that are used here to generate the volumes over again. To actually calculate them, we click the Run button. Running this calculates the volumes. The output will be put into the results pane if necessary and also into the output sheet that we will see pop up here in just a minute. After volumetrics are completed, we can click OK to close this window and we can see all the information in our case. Here is all the information that we told it to generate all the different values. It comes out in whatever units we have chosen here. So our volume is in cubic meters since this is a meters project. If we would like this to be in barrels, we could go change the units to barrels, create another report, and it would come out in barrels. The way to create a report is to right click on volumetrics case, come down here and say make volumetrics report, and that corrects it and now makes a new report with whatever parameters are necessary.